The heart is fed by its own circulation, known as the major coronary arteries. These arteries include the left anterior descending artery, the left circumflex coronary artery, and the right coronary artery. The bloodstream contains red blood cells, which deliver oxygen to the heart muscle, known as the myocardium. It also contains fats or lipids, known as low-density lipoproteins, or LDL cholesterol. Atherosclerosis begins when LDL cholesterol accumulates in the arterial wall, forming a plaque. Over time, the plaque becomes larger. Some plaques never obstruct the coronary blood flow. The patient with asymptomatic coronary disease has no chest pain and no myocardial ischemia. A plaque can enlarge to the point that the blood flow is compromised. The patient may have chest pain, but only with exertion. This syndrome is known as stable angina and is not a clinical emergency. Such a patient is still at risk for an acute life-threatening event because a plaque can suddenly rupture, causing clotting of the artery, known as coronary thrombosis. When a thrombotic occlusion is subtotal, an acute coronary syndrome develops, and there are two types. The first type is known as a non-ST segment elevation myocardial infarction, and the second type is known as unstable angina. With these syndromes, the patient experiences chest pain at rest, and the electrocardiogram shows ST segment depression. In contrast, when the thrombus completely occludes the vessel, the myocardium is injured and the syndrome of ST segment elevation myocardial infarction develops. In summary, patients with coronary artery disease may be asymptomatic, they can have stable angina, or they can suffer an acute atherothrombotic event. Plaque rupture with coronary thrombosis is the most common cause of acute, life-threatening coronary artery disease. Emergency therapy by thrombolysis, angioplasty, or thrombectomy restores blood flow by targeting the thrombus, either dissolving it, displacing it, or removing it as quickly as possible. Rapid restoration of blood flow relieves symptoms and minimizes myocardial damage.